Yum, 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 yum. Popcorn. Can I help you? What are you doing now? Well, I'm doing research. Looks like you're just watching a film. I don't know. I could be a movie review channel. I could do whatever I want, really. The world's my oyster. This internet thing isn't going away anytime soon. What are you watching? I've got my hands on a rare copy of the first Shrek movie before Mike Myers famously redid all his lines with the well-known Scottish accent. Also, in this version, they hadn't really gotten a handle on Donkey's character. Eddie Murphy kept going off script. You're yeah, playing with your friends, you know, driving around. Guys, you know, you see a faggot in the street, you pull up and I say, Hey, faggot! Hey, you faggot ass! Hey, hey, baby, baby! Faggot ass, faggot! Oh, my gosh, Donkey. Okay, well, if you're not going to be doing a history lesson, you could at least take out the trash. It's starting to stink up the kitchen. <sighs> fine. By the way, how do you keep getting around? Hmm. I could do a lesson on the Battle of Waterloo. Or ABBA. I'm telling you, I don't know what I saw. It, it was a monster. A monster? Yes, like a spooky, but not quite an oogly boogly. But, uh, I don't know how to explain what I saw. You saw a cryptid? A cryptid, yes. I have a book on that. Let's see. Uh, um, ah, here it is. Cryptids are animals that cryptozoologists believe may exist somewhere in the wild, but are not believed to exist by mainstream science. Cryptozoology is a pseudoscience that investigates claims rejected by the scientific community and primarily looks at anecdotal stories. That's what we have right now, an anecdote. At the very least, this will replace what I usually talk about at parties. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how I got my golf handicap down to a 28. <laughs> <laughs> very good. I was molested. The Jersey Devil. In New Jersey and Philadelphia, the Jersey Devil, also known as the Leeds Devil, is a legendary creature said to inhabit the forest of Pine Barrens in South Jersey. The creature is often described as a flying biped with hooves. So, ma'am, you're telling me you saw a bipedal kangaroo-like or dragon-like creature with a horse or goat head, leathery bat wings, horns, small arms, clawed hands, legs with cloven hooves, and a forked tail. Yes. So, like this. Oh, my God, officer, that's him. We need to question Macaulay Culkin as to his whereabouts last night. The Loveland Frog. This humanoid creature with the face of a frog was first spotted in Loveland, Ohio in 1955. A businessman said he saw a creature with green skin, webbed hands, and a wide mouth emerge from under a bridge, leaving a strong odor of alfalfa and almonds behind. Mother, I believe I just saw an Italian. Later that night, Joey Fazzoli was remanded in custody. Giraffes! Giraffes. Well, yeah. Giraffes are real. Okay, well, you're telling me unicorns aren't real, which is essentially just a horse with a horn, and yet you expect me to believe that a camel moose deer with a six-foot neck disguised as a leopard exists. I call bullshit, Alexa. The Orang Pentec. The Orang Pentec is a peculiar cryptid reported to inhabit the remote forests of the island of Sumatra. While stories of the legendary creature's appearance vary, they all have several factors in common. Most stories describe the monkey-like animal as being a ground-dwelling, bipedal ape covered in grey and brown fur. Well, that just sounds like a monkey. What makes this animal strange is its one divergent big toe, which works almost like a thumb. Many people believe the orang pendek to be nothing more than an undocumented primate, or possibly a last surviving hominid. Big toe monkey. No, that wasn't outside. A Korakamui. Nailed that one. The Akorakamui is an enormous octopus-looking monster that supposedly wanders around the Funka Bay in Hokkaido, Japan. It is claimed the creature to be some sort of devilfish or satanic octopus. The Akorakamui is said to be able to grow as large as 400 feet long and has the ability to self-amputate and regenerate limbs. Now you listen. 
Listen here, buddy. You hand over that there leg of yours, and I'm going to make some delicious taco nigiri in my traditional sushi restaurant. What accent was that? Oh, oh, you want me to do a Japanese accent in today's climate? No, Groot slang. The Groot slang is a giant snake said to live deep inside a cave found in South Africa. It's part snake, part elephant, and is said to look like this, or this, or this. It's kind of dealer's choice on how you want this one to look. It reminds me of the OC cryptid I've been designing, which I call the Murtor. 50% centaur, 50% mermaid, 100% sex appeal. Then we've got cryptids that are basically just different flavors of Sasquatch. The Yowie, the Momo, the Orang Manyak, which is just a gooey Bigfoot, Yeti, and the Basawan. I'm starting to think you didn't see anything. I did! Are you calling me crazy? It was dark. It was probably just your imagination. That's it. We're going back out. I'll show you myself. Stay close, Alexa. Oh, I thought she's gone. Here goes nothing. Oh! It's just my gardener, Seamus O'Haggerty. Passed out drunk as usual. <laughs> you scared the shit out of me, Seamus! Please stop kicking me. Oh! <laughs>